So today we will demonstrate some new capabilities of the PLOG Cloud Connect that facilitate doing sample planning such that you can upload all of your project and borehole information to PLOG Cloud and then down to your tablets. This does require that you have the latest version of the PLOG Cloud Connect installed which you can download from Data Forensics website. So if we start our PLOG configuration tool and we log in with our PLOG Cloud account, we can skip choosing a configuration, although you could choose one of those if you wanted to have that open. It certainly doesn't hurt. And what we want to do is we want to upload a sampling plan to PLOG Cloud. So in order to do that, you would need to pre-populate an Excel file. And I've already done that, but I'll show you where the Excel file is located so that you can find it once you have it installed. In your installation folder, there is a sampling plan folder that has a sampling plan template. And if you open that up in Excel, I'll show you the one that I have filled in the information that I want to have pre-configured on my tablet. So essentially it opens an Excel spreadsheet with different tabs. We have a sample sampling plan tab, which is essentially the name, dates, instructions, that sort of thing. We have a sampling plan project, so that's your project information, project number, name, location, city, state, that sort of thing. Anything that has a drop-down list, such as Georgia, that should be configured the same way you have it in your PLOG configuration. So if you're using abbreviations, use it as GA. If it's not, spell it out just like your PLOG configuration. So anything that's a drop-down list should have the same value on the tablet already in your configuration. So states, your input unit should be E or M, uh, project engineer, project manager, datum, coordinate system. Those are all drop-down lists on the tablet, so you need to have valid values there. Then you have your sampling plan holes. <clears throat> and just to show you how easy it was to populate these, um, basically create my first borehole and then copy it down. Then fill in your coordinates, northing, easting, elevation, latitude, longitude, station on offset, your estimated hole depth, that sort of thing. And save your file. And that's it. Once you have saved that file, I've already done that, so I don't need to resave the changes, but once you have done that, then you go to your PLOG configuration tool and you upload your sampling plan to PLOG Cloud. We choose that and we can choose one or more people to assign this sampling plan to. So I'll choose Gong and John. And then we have to choose our sampling plan. We have now uploaded that to the cloud. And if I want to re-download it and modify it, because I found that, oh gosh, maybe I messed something up. You could come in here and you can download it and you can say downloaded plan. It'll then save that file and now we can open that up. And fundamentally it'll be exactly the same as what we had before except for now you'll see that there's actually a GUID, the globally unique identifier in each of the different locations. So the holes each have GUIDs, etc. So if you want to change something, because it really wasn't B1, that was actually supposed to be like B100, or BH100, or whatever you want to call it, you could make the change and then re-upload it. Any change you make here will actually, when you re-upload it, it will delete anything that's in the PLOG cloud and upload whatever is in here now. So you're not going to end up with duplicates, you're not going to end up with a BH1 and a BH100. It will literally delete the sampling plan that's already there and re-upload it. So that's basically, you know, just to give you a simple example, let's say it's 0516A. Save that. And if we re-upload that to the same two people, or maybe we want to add a third person, we're going to add me in there. We're going to use our downloaded plan this time. We've now uploaded that. And now if we want to re-download it another time, you'll see that it has a different project number. So it now would have that BH100 and it has a different project number. And it has different people assigned to it. Basically, that's the sample planning capabilities for PLOG Cloud now.